Hello guys, in this week's episode I'm very excited to, to show you guys what we're going to do with candlestick charts and um, adding uh, automatic timers to your macros which is quite awesome. So I've got this comment here from one of my fans here and he said, Hi Stone, can we have live charts with duration of say one, three, five minutes during for intraday trading? So this is a very interesting uh, concept and I have done my homework and I'm very excited to report that we can indeed do this. So guys, please hit that like button, hit this little subscribe button down below and let's get into this one. Right, so last time that we left off with candlestick charge is we could get this power query from the internet uh, and obviously refresh the data and show it as a nice candlestick chart. If you don't have this file or you haven't seen this video yet, please check the descriptions above or the descriptions down below. I will leave that file for you guys that you can quickly go grab and then you, once you come back, uh, we can go into this one. All right, guys, so if you've got your files ready, uh, it will look something like this. I'm just going to tab through my Excel spreadsheets here. So this it would look something like this. We don't have any timers yet. We don't have any uh, play button here. But uh, no worries, we're going to go into this one. But So let me just start off showing you guys what we're going to try and accomplish today. So basically, we can. I'm going to show you guys how to put these timers in. So if I'm going to click on the one minute timer here it will show one minute or it clicks on a three minute interval or five minute interval and if you press this play button what is awesome is this thing is going to update itself within the interval that you set here in column uh, r1 or cell r1 and it's going to update and if you guys stick uh, long enough uh, at the end of the day we're going to add this historic data chart and it's going to pop in the, the data here as it progresses every minute or every three minutes or any interval that you set so guys this is quite a kicker of a tutorial so i'm glad you guys can join me for this one so let's get into this one all right so basically i'm going to pop into the file that you guys have so this is the file that uh, i left you guys in the description so basic stuff this button does the query you will see it takes away this graph but it updates our data we're tracking uh, bitcoin prices currently here and if you click on the refresh it refreshes the data and if you click on the chart button it just makes the chart look nicely all right guys so first th things first let's uh, put in our timer buttons so i would like you to highlight from m3 to j1 just hit this little format painter button and here from n to let's go to q we just want to format that nice looking frame there and let's do the same with R so just want to highlight Q1 to Q3 format painter we're going to click on R format painter click on S so that's just a little framework that we're going to work with here so in N I would like you to go and insert a picture so I left you guys some pictures down below that you can quickly grab so I'm just going to go to insert pictures and what I want you guys to do is just quick quickly grab that uh, pictures that I left you guys uh, I think I left it here in my candlestick chart so you can choose the one minute timer there it is so you can just put it in there and resize it I'm just gonna resize it there we go so that's my one minute time picker I'm just gonna do the same uh, with insert we're going to insert another picture the three minute timer there we go there it is just want to try and size it that it looks the same there we go or just a little bit smaller there we go and then finally i want you to go to insert pictures and we're going to put in a five minute so i'm going to put in five intervals here one minute three minute and uh, obviously a five minute one as well all right, so that's it. So just want to put the picture nicely here. Oh, I see. I pasted it into the into the uh, graph here. So I just want to go insert pictures. Want to grab my five minute? There we go. Just want to place it at top and just resize it as well. 
all right guys so what we can do is we can literally just highlight all the buttons here just highlight uh, holding control click click and here in a line we can al align them horizontally and vertically as well then it's quite nice aligned and we can place it here in the middle and there we've got our little timer so if the size isn't so perfect we can resize it any way we would like to there we go so there we go so there's our free little timers it doesn't do anything yet we're going to code it in uh, r is space for the uh, time so i would like you to go to r1 to r3 and just hit merge and put it in the middle there's no data yet and here in s i just like you go to insert pictures the final picture is this little play button and we can just resize it to fit to the graph here or to the panel here in s so there we go so that's the buttons done all right so next let's go into the coding so i would like you to go into your developer tab so if you don't have this developer tab a uh, quick video up above where you can access the developer tab and if you've got the developer tab we can continue and it's a built-in function within uh, excel and we're going to go into the visual basic interface all right so what i would like you to do is oh i see i've got all of the other stuff open here as well just want to show you guys just want to place it here there we go uh, i'm just going to close off one of my excel spreadsheets the finished version here i'm just going to close it off otherwise it's going to clutter our interface so i'm going to tab back to my visual basic so it's basically only the one module that we left with uh, in my previous video once again descriptions above and we're going to add to this so what i would like you to do is add a module so our first module you right click on module insert and we're going to insert a module so there's our first module it's going to show module two here but i would like to change the name so let's change this name to data so in the name here we're going to change this to data and hit enter and now what I would like you to do is go grab cheat sheet number one in the file description that I left you guys below. So I'm just going to go quickly grab my cheat sheet here. There we go. So I'm quickly going to gra go grab my cheat sheet one. I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm doing here. So I'm going to pick up data sheet one or cheat sheet one that resembles data. So this is the code that pops up. What I would like you to do is just click and control A to select everything. Control C to copy and click back into the interface where it says the data. That's the module. Click in the open space and click control V. And that's it. So this is the refresh data module that we're plugging in so this just checks for the updates this specifically uh, with the uh, pivot table that we've got in or the power query so this uh, works quite nicely to uh, update the power pivots and then we're going to also call get data and call date visualize data so this is just the modules that we insert previously so there is the get data as well so this just calls the, the modules that we already placed into the spreadsheet. So what I'd like you guys to go and do is insert another module. So here in modules, you're going to go right click, insert another module. So this will show again as module two. I would like you to change the name. Just want to make sure we're going to change the name to visualize. So module two, we're going to highlight here down below and we're going to write in visualize. There we go visualize hopefully i spelled it correctly all right so and i would like you to go to cheat sheet number two visualize and just once again just want to click on it control a control c to copy go back into your uh, user interface click on the white space make sure you're in visualize white space control v to paste so this once again puts a little timer as well before this visualize gets run we're going to wait 10 seconds why we wait 10 seconds it's for the power query to run first and then we would like to run the following macros all right 
then once again i would like you to go to modules we're going to go to insert we're going to go into module so this is our fourth module here but it's still uh, named as module two and we're going to rename it to read timer so module two double click and we're going to call it timer here we go go into your cheat sheet number three click on timer and what we're going to do is you are going to click in a space control a to select all control c to copy go back to your uh, user interface and control v to paste so basically this is where we're going to use our time values as well so in cheat sheet free range r1 dot text what we would like to do is run the code and it will be the time now and the now is spe specified with uh, the range that's in r1 cell r1 in sheet 3 so whatever we put into cell r1 as a time this will pick it up and that's why we can use the intervals quite interesting and very nice as well so uh, once again we go into modules right click insert a module and this is the most crucial module it's going to show module 2 but what i would like you to do is just rename it to read uh, set times so we're going to put it in as set times set times and what i would like you to do is go into cheat sheet number three excuse me cheat sheet number three let me just go back to cheat sheet there we go cheat sheet number four sorry cheat sheet number four and this will be this one control c or control a control c to copy back into user forms control v so this will set our times there we go we're gonna save always good to save our work there we go and then finally we've got just want to make sure we've got all the cheat sheets here data visualize timer set times and then we also got cheat sheet number five which is the history so we're going to add one more module insert module and we're going to rename it to read history so this is the the tab that we're going to use to record our uh, data so i'm going to go to history cheat sheet number five there we go control a control c to copy go back to history in the blank space control v so this is quite nicely so this is going to record all the data sets that we have in that historic data tab so what i would like you to do is go back to your excel spreadsheet there we go and here we're going to add another sheet and we're just going to rename it to show historic data so we need to make sure this historic data is correctly spelled in cheat sheet number five historic data because that's the sheet that's going to read our uh, amounts here and finally what we're going to do is here in historic data that we just created you just click here on sheet 4 double click on historic data that we just created and finally we're going to grab cheat sheet 5 historic data sheet what we're going to do is control a control c to copy back we need to make sure you click on the sheet number 4 historic data and control v to paste there we go so this is going to sit or put a timestamp in the data sets in historic data as well we're going to save and we're going to exit the user interface so what we're going to do here in sheet 3 here in g let's go for g 24 we need to copy and paste these amounts here so what i would like you to do is from a1 to e1 you will highlight control c and then here in G24, you say control V just to paste that amounts in. And here in G25, you're going to say equals 
and whatever is in A2 you're going to reference. There we go. And you can use this little handle and drag the formula across. And if it doesn't show it quite nicely here, you can just highlight these columns and double click. So it shows nicely. Oh, and it took the wrong formatting as well. So if you want to change these formings are back to amounts, you just highlight, go to home and click on this little comma here to put it back into amounts that's readable. Just make sure it adds it up here. All right, there we go. Perfect. We're getting there, guys. All right, so now here in R1, uh, let's say we can put in the time. So I would like you to put in, let's go for one minute. Zero, zero. There we go, comma, zero, zero, uh, zero, one, sorry, and comma, zero, zero. So this will show us one minute. To show it as a time, you can also hit Control, Shift, and 2. So that will take it back to a time readable by Excel. All right, guys, we're almost there. What I would like you to do is also now highlight G24 to K24, Control, C. Go back to Historic Data tab that we added in A1, Control, V. Oh, there we go. Make sure it took all the control C historic control V just want to make sure all the or we can just reference it equals to G25 and we can drag it across there we go that's better and there we go you can delete that and here in F I would just like you to put in time stamp just to put in a time stamp E1, Format Painter, F1, there we go. And that's it guys, now we can assign the macros. So here in Sheet 3, I would like you to right click on the first minute, and we're going to say Assign Macro, and you're going to look for the one minute. There's the one minute, and you say OK. Next uh, button, the, the three minute, right click, Assign Macro, three minute. We're going to look for three minutes and OK. And finally, a five minute interval. So we're going to assign a macro, go for five minutes. There's five minutes and we're going to hit OK. So what this does, this sets the time in R1. So if you click on this button, one minute, three minutes, five minutes. There we go. So you can see changes here in R1. That's perfect. That's exactly what we need. All right, cool. And here in the play button, I'm going to right click and we're going to assign a macro that's called set on time. So we look for set on time and we're going to say, OK, so that's all programmable. We already put it in according to the cheat sheets that I gave you in the descriptions. All right, guys, now for the magic. Let's see if this if this updates itself. So I'm going to put in one minute for this video and I'm going to hit the play button. So now I'm going to wait. So let's see the time here. So there we go. So this is 20. Uh, I'm recording this now the 20th of January. Three minutes past one, 11. There we go. And we're going to wait and see if it works within one minute time. This macro needs to update itself without me pressing a button. So almost time to go, guys. And remember to hit that like button. Hit this little subscribe button. And let's see if the magic performance by Excel, if this uh, code indeed works. I'm just going to tab out of the mouse there, uh, out of the time. And we're going to see, just look at my little mouse and see if it starts to spin. Then we know within one minute that data is definitely being recorded. So hopefully this works. So I'm holding thumbs to see if m this little program works. There we go, it spins. So there we go, it spins. It's thinking and let's see if it works. So I haven't pressed any button. You haven't heard a click from my side or I haven't touched the keyboard. There we go, it updated itself. Have you seen it guys? So there it updated to a new amount here. And if you go to historic data, lo and behold, the data has been captured. So there it goes, four minutes past. 11 and it captured all the data correctly it seems oh this is great guys so guys let's stick around one more minute 
and see if it still works. I'm going to go back to sheet three and let's see if it works. I'm, ju I'm just going to keep my hands here so you guys can see I'm not doing anything. I'm not clicking anything. And uh, while I have you guys, uh, just a little plug-in. You can always check my new vid videos that I have. I'm going to put my descriptions below. Remember, hit that like. Hit this little subscribe button down below so I can bring you more Excel awesomeness. So guys, I'm still holding my hands up here. So let's see uh, one minute. I just was asking you guys for one more minute to see if this program works. Uh, once again, thank you to the gentleman uh, that we can have this. Oh, it's thinking, it's thinking. So let's see if it updates itself within the new minute. As I was saying, thank you to this gentleman that suggested this awesome tutorial. And there it goes. It updated and if you go back to historic data, you will see new line item, new minutes and we've got a new amount pulling it through from the internet. Guys, how awesome is this? This is magical and uh, this will uh, run for whatever interval you put in here. Guys, just please remember, just don't put in just 30 seconds or 40 seconds, you're going to break this program. Anything one minute and above, you can put it for a day, you can put it for some hours and uh yeah 45 minutes whatever guys thank you for having me and i'm gonna see you for our next episode cheers guys